we're gonna do an ABT TOTS class. Are you ready? Come on and join me. Let's sit down on the floor. Ready? Can you get your hands ready? Listen. Oh my goodness, I hear music. Can you rub your hands together? Get them nice and warm. Good job. Let's listen to the music. 
those hands nice on your hips. Go very tall. Okay, good. Shall we bend and stretch? Bend and stretch. Can you stand very tall?
goodness, I hear the horses coming. You follow me, okay? Ready? Let's go. Can you go in a circle? Davidson and also retold by me, Sonia Jones, for our TOTS class, based on a story by Frances Hodgson Barnett. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Mary who went on a long journey. First, she went on a train and then she went on a horse and carriage. Can you see the horses? Good, just like you did. Let's see what happens when she gets there. Oh, wow. When she got there, it was a big mansion belonging to her uncle. It felt so tall and she felt so small and lonely. She wondered what she could possibly do. Let's see. In the morning, Mary went to the garden and she spoke to the gardener. She wondered what's on the other side of that tall wall over there and he said that is the secret garden it's been locked up for many years and nobody knows where the key is wow let's see what happens suddenly mary saw a red robin he flew off as if he wanted her to follow him so she did then the robin started hopping and hopping and Mary hopped too and followed him. And then the robin swooped down and she thought, he's trying to show me something. She scrabbled in the soil and she found a shiny key. Wow. Then the robin flew her over to the wall and sure enough, there was the door and there was the keyhole and she put the key into the keyhole and she opened the door to go in to the secret garden. <gasps> wow, can you see that? There she is. She gets to go inside and we can just imagine her adventures that she's going to have in the secret garden. I would love us to think about, hmm, let's see. First, do you remember how she felt in that big mansion? Maybe she felt like she had to stand very tall and walk around that mansion all by herself. So let's all stand up, okay? Let's stand up and let's walk around that mansion like a very tall, trying to be as tall as you can. Let's see, very carefully. Let's listen for the music. Let's listen. Music? Mary was trying to stand as tall as those tapestries. Can you stand very tall? That's good. She felt so lonely, but she was being very brave. So she's going to walk. Can you walk? That's good. Can you show me how you walk very tall? Tall as you can. Good job. Jump together. 
garden, remember? Secret Garden, and I just wanted to uh, introduce a little craft that could be done with our class today, um, theming on the Red Robin from the Secret Garden. And so again, this is the book that we were reading today, The Secret Garden, and um, we talked about the Robin Redbreast and his hopping and flying. And so a little craft that you could do with your tots is if you have. Um, just some red feathers uh, that you might have around the house. As you can see, I've got, whoop, I've got lots of feathers here. <laughs> All right, and then what I did was I just took um, a black 
just or even a hair tie or just an elastic band. I don't know if you can see that very well. Just cut it like that. And then I used a hot glue gun. I know um, children obviously wouldn't be able to do that, but if you have fabric glue or if you want to, an adult, uh, do the hot glue gun on your feather and just glue the uh, band on the feather and then I tied it together and actually made a little ring. So that way my students can put this feather ring on and then they can feel so amazing flying around and doing their red robin dance together. So I just wanted to introduce that to you all. Again, just all you need is a feather, a little elastic band, some glue, and then you can create your own ring so they can feel like they've got wings just like the red robin. Thank you.